So I specialise in working with people in this guided original lyrics and music, music therapy method, and that way we get Josh's song out of him. We don't write a song for him, we get his song out of him, and that's all his music. And the, the best outcome is when he goes, hey, I've written a song today. And then that moved on to him writing another beautiful love song for his girlfriend. So if you think about the recent animation with Josh, we were able to use different ways of working in music. So at some points it was gentle comforting music for him and a music, registered music therapist is trained how to use that music properly, when to play it, when not to play it, you know, when to just sit in silence. And other times we wrote songs together, so that's another specialised method. And then Josh wanted to learn guitar, so this is all very much driven from him and it's about what's going to meet his needs to improve his quality of life. Over time, of course, the research has grown and there are different ways of giving evidence and research. So sometimes when you're working with someone, a case study is exactly what they need to hear. They need to hear someone's personal testimony. They need to hear about what music therapy did for them, how it changed their lives, how it changed their journey, and even from the family's perspective too. But then you need the hard evidence as well. You know, we need to say we can demonstrate that the impact of music therapy, live music, playing to cancer patients will reduce their anxiety. And now we have the numbers to prove that. We have statistical evidence that demonstrates things like this. Everybody knows that this person's life is, is coming to an end. So a registered music therapist not only helps that person have a, what we call a more peaceful or more resolved journey through that very sad time, but they also help the families because the families are going to keep living and we help them to perhaps cope better with that death. So often families will use music in their grieving process in palliative care. So the, they've lost their loved one, but if we've worked closely with their loved one and written songs, they use those songs and they hold on to those songs. So sometimes those songs are songs of love and thanks and the families will often contact me and say, you know, I've been playing that song every day and that's helped me get up. It's helped me face my day and it's helped me really be with my, my daughter or my son. You can see that ripple effect and how those songs actually do change lives.